something since you were six. <laughs> no lines, but... Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Hi. Oh my gosh, okay, another premiere. I'm, I'm very excited about this one. I love it. I really loved it and I loved it even more watching it again for the second time. And dare I say, I loved this more than an unexpected person. I mean, that's fair. Yes. It's definitely in the same game. This is uh, where Hallmark wants to be. But for me personally, this is Hallmark at its best. Yeah. Agreed. I loved it. Let's get into a little bit about the synopsis. Yes? Cassie Pruitt, played by Brooke Dorsey, who's a Canadian girl. Oh, yeah. Toronto girl. Toronto. So we love that. She's a professional theater director who's worked on an off off Broadway show. And she's temporarily back in her hometown of Dickens, Ohio. And she's been asked to direct the annual Christmas production of A Christmas Carol. And she's feeling the pressure from that. <laughs> um, this is also the 100th annual performance of the play, which is part of a larger celebration uh, that turns all of Dickens, Ohio into Victoria London. Um, and then it just so happens that the lead of the play has come down with laryngitis. And he also has a vocal nodule and he cannot speak or utter a word uh, for a month. <laughs> and he plays Scrooge oh, <laughs> in the play. Um, and if they can't find a new Scrooge, then the play will be canceled. And that's a big no-no. Yeah, especially for the 100th anniversary. Yeah, they can't, that can't happen. So the mayor actually makes a suggestion to Cassie. No, it was the actor who's playing Scrooge who makes the suggestion to bring in Jake Dorsey, played by Christopher Polaha. Polaha? So Jake Dorsey, he's the most famous person to ever leave Dickens, Ohio. So he's a big Hollywood action star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like the Tom Cruise, basically. Pretty much. And it just so happens that we learn a little bit about his backstory, and he kind of is wanting to take his career in a new direction. He wants to star in a dramatic adaptation of his mom's favorite book. But being Hollywood's, you know, action star, a lot of people don't think he has the acting chops to kind of take on this role. Yeah, they did a really good job at the beginning to show how cheesy his movies were, but he was definitely uber rich and famous, so it paid off. He yeah. even had like a really cheesy catchphrase. Do the right thing. Or it's the last thing you'll do. <laughs> oh my god. Do the right thing or it's the last thing you'll do. <laughs> we did watch it twice. Um, so anyway, so his plan of action <clears throat> is say yes to play to play Scrooge in the Dickens, Ohio production of A Christmas Carol. He and wants to show everyone that Jake Dorsey can, in fact, can act. Can act. He does initially decline, but on further kind of inspection or whatever, like he, he realizes maybe this is a good career move. And if I can prove that I can do something more dramatic, something more heartfelt and meaningful, then maybe I can get this role that I really want to get. And if Cassie can prove that she can direct him, then she'll be on her way as well. Exactly. Let me just say, like, I just want to say, like, this one, it ticked all the boxes for me. Like, it, it had heart. The casting was perfect. The acting was great. The subject matter was very close to my heart. It really was the full package. I have to Agreed, but. and uh, I didn't love it as much as An Unexpected Christmas, oh. but this is definitely on the same level and probably number in the number two spot yeah. for me. But it also has more depth than any other Hallmark movie I've seen so far this year. But the performances and the writing were just so Yeah, and good. just the little things that made it feel like real relationships and, you know, real people. Because you're kind of set up to not like this kind of guy. <laughs> Macho, Hollywood action star, snobby. He, he does have those characteristics, but then he'll do something in the same breath to show, okay, there's more to this guy. This one struck a chord with me personally because it's about directing, about the power of theater, it's about fulfilling your dream, about either wanting to be a performer or wanting to be an actor. Yeah, I did like this one, and I usually don't like the arts ones. Oddly enough, but this one, this one was great. Some of the best scenes were when it was just the two of them uh, at rehearsal in the empty theater space on the stage. He's trying to get through um, a really emotional scene, and she's guiding, she's directing. Yeah, it was really good, and it was an interesting way to paint their relationship. It was like a mutual movie. respect for in their individual like vocations. It was slowly growing throughout the film as well as the feelings for each other. You could tell it was there, but I liked it in uh, Cassie's character that she didn't sway. They waited right till the end for yes. the almost kiss. Because it was like a slow, <laughs> gradual build up 
to the romantic. Um, yeah, it was, it was always there, but she would never let it affect performance or or what she was doing. They were so as good. They were the performance that stood out for me, I think, was Christopher. Um, there were some like scenes oh where my God, he was absolutely. playing Scrooge and some of those monologues. I was actually was, moved. I, I wanted I, I wanted to see that performance. Yeah, his acting as Scrooge meant like it was. What was, what was it? Let the boy live! Let the boy live! Like, we both kind of went silent. <laughs> yeah. Like, when we're watching, like, some sort of Oscar-worthy <laughs> film. Like, it was well, like, Well, yeah, wow, it was well okay. done. Wow. And, but to be fair, all the performances were great. Brooke was really likable and sincere. I, the chemistry right off the bat was It fantastic. felt like a rekindling, which is kind of what the story was, which it, it was really uh, natural. They're both and... so likable in there. They are, mm. really are likable. And the brother, the brother was fantastic. Oh, Played by Chad Willett. Yeah. And yeah, he was he was very good. There was a couple funny scenes where he was just kind of snide and like rude to his brother because he, he didn't come back other than Christmas. So let's talk a little bit about the production. Yeah. So this was directed by Paul Ziller. So oh, he's done yeah. a few. He's done a few Hallmark movies. He did Good Morning Christmas, Picture Perfect Christmas. Um, none of them too notable for me though. Yeah. Except for this one I mean, now. This one. Uh, written by Mark Hefty and Julie Sherman Wolf. So she's done a bunch of Hallmark holiday movies, like One Royal Holiday. That, uh, that was good. All the royal. You like all the royal uh, ones. Uh, Marry Me at Christmas, a Glen Brook <gasps> Christmas, like some of the big ones. She's oh, written. okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I want to mention Antonio Cupo here mm. because I love him <laughs> and I've always been a big fan of him. And he is an executive producer here. And he's been in many Hallmark movies uh, as an actor. And it's cool to see him kind of step in an executive producer role here. So I think he must have really loved the story or... Yeah, I, don't I, li- know. I like that he was so I, cool. He, he, he also had a he tiny had a cameo. cameo. Yeah, he was that's playing cool. the director. Yeah. I mean, some of the best ones we've seen lately are the actors coming up and writing or yeah. having something Unexpected to do with Christmas. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. As always, we like to get into the tropes, the Hallmark tropes. Uh, kind of like a checklist to see if it... Picked all the boxes yeah, or not? Yeah, there, there are 25 of them. 25, perfect. It, it should be, yeah, it's a Christmas thing. Okay, so here we go. The Almost Kiss. Yes, yes. we had to rewatch this, like, actual... I wasn't sure. Scene. There were a couple of moments where I thought there was an Almost Kiss, but there is an actual Almost Kiss. She backs out a bunch of times. Well, yeah. And then just walks off. But just before he goes on to play Scrooge, they have an Almost The Change of Heart. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess because she uh, saw him in a different light. Yeah, I'll say yes. The Agreement. No, no agreement. The big secret. No, no there was no big secret. Christmas fake out. No. 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 Career woman. I'll say yes. Definitely. Yeah, no, yeah. No, this one was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great misunderstanding. No. no. Someone gets dumped, fired, or dies. Finally, well, okay, he got fired technically because she kicks him That's off the floor. That's true. That's true. I mean, the, yeah. On screen, a Christmas party. Well, they have a they have a wrap up party. Yeah, they had they had a bunch of gatherings, so I, I, I would think say we yes. have to say yeah. That, yeah. Sorry, a character with a holiday name. No. Reference to picking out a perfect tree. Yes. I believe there Definitely. was. Definitely. Yep. Uh, a proposal or wedding. No. Travel issue. Uh, no. Uh, ice skating. Yes. Ice skating for she's sure. Like a, Santa makes an appearance. Yes. <laughs> Character obsessed with Christmas. Maybe the whole town is obsessed with Christmas because they put on. Insane. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying with the festival. Stratford thing, where it's like it was so Christmassy, it just felt like, yeah, okay, everybody's in. So let's say let's yes. Let's give it a go. Let's yeah. say yes. Someone sings out loud. No. I forgot. You know what? I don't I, think so. I, I bet that it's a, it's a theater. Play. There's no way that's a play, but I don't think there's like music in this one. No, I'm going to say no. Uh, big city, small town. Yes, definitely. We got a small town, and he's he came from a big city. She came from New York. He came and from LA. Like coming back, and yeah. they stay in Dickens, Ohio. So it's got both of those. Um, a hot I, beverage, a few hot few. beverages. I like that they had the mulled wine. Mulled wine. Mm. Yeah. Christmas in the title. No. But holiday. So it's a holiday. It doesn't matter. We're not extending it because okay. this is a Christmas movie. Someone in line for a promotion. No. Nope. But you know what? I like this because this had the um, this had the uh, Jake's personal assistant in the movie. That was a nice subplot. He actually. gets a promotion from Jake uh, up to his manager because the the guy was really good and he helped him out a lot during the movie. And I thought his performance was really good. What was his name? Uh, Nathan Lynn. Oh, was, nice. I liked that subplot kind of too. That yeah. was nice. Um. So yes. Ding. <laughs> All right. Uh, granted a Christmas wish. No, no Christmas wish. Uh, a snowball fight. No. no. Uh, and the last one is a mad dash to the airport, aka let's go get her. No, it didn't have the last minute he shows up thing. 
which similar. I, it's almost the same no. category. But I, I'm gonna say no for that last one. I'm gonna say no. So for me, no surprise, uh, this hit the hallmark. Mm, it hit it hard. Oh, yeah. yeah, this one hit my hallmark too. This hit the mark. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Please go check it out. It's worth the time. So good. Um, so, so good. What are we gonna do next? So we'll be reviewing the Christmas House 2. Christmas House we did, 2. We did do a Christmas um, House 1 watch as well. Yeah. So maybe we can Just to maybe refresh our memory. Uh, we can do like a double thing Christmas House 1, Christmas House 2. Oh, the holidays. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye.